was literally right here with my friends late at night when I was mugged. Fort Sanders is an area that many UT students call home. However, home is also an area of Knoxville notorious for armed robberies, break-ins, and even drug-related crimes. One night, um, me and my friends were walking back, um, and it was really dark, and we didn't know what to do, really, because we saw this guy, and he literally just came up and took my purse, and we didn't know if he was armed, so obviously we weren't going to chase him. But. In 2011, the city added more streetlights, floodlights, and emergency calling systems to better prevent more house and car break-ins. I mean, you don't have much violent crime. Most of it is lock your cars, use some sense, don't leave stuff laying around for people to break into. However, while walking these streets at night, you might find yourself questioning your safety. Many students have experienced traumatic events just by walking back from class or down the street to a neighbor's house. I don't even feel safe when I'm walking home from class, and that's a problem for me. There's been so many robberies. Drugs seem to be one of the main reasons leading to break-ins and theft. Any violent crime we get, a lot of the time is situated due to uh, people with drugs, and then other people know that they have drugs at their apartment. Most of our home and all of our home invasions that I'm aware of down here have been that. According to Knoxville Police Department, crime is actually down in the area. But the people that live here, especially the students, say they still do not feel safe. You know, a possibility of there being crime, but I just really don't feel safe living here anymore. Some students believe that a possible solution could be the police patrolling more at night, but others think that things will just never get better. I've even had a few of my friends' houses getting broken into and their laptops been stolen, but nothing ever really seems to change. This is Alexandra Harper reporting for TVC News.